Hello and welcome back to another episode of Robbie the Painter. I'm so excited that you guys are back. Uh, we've got a fantasy painting today. It's just, it's going to be, I think, an amazing painting, something we've never done before. Going to use a dry canvas, uh, just all kinds of fun. Before we get started, I want to say hi to my daughter Vicki and her husband Darren, my grandkids, uh, Kyle, Amber, and Ivandale. They're watching. Hey guys, what's going on? And also to my neighbors um, who watch regularly, John and DJ and their kids, uh, Maddie, Brooke, Hunter, and Colt. Thank you so much for watching. I think you guys are going to uh, like this episode. So let's get started. And oh, what a beautiful day. La, 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 la. <laughs> Oh, hey, Sassy. I didn't know you were here. Bobby! It's Robbie. My name's Robbie. Whatever, Bobby. <laughs> it looks like you're doing a painting. Yes, I'm working on a masterpiece. Uh-huh. I've been watching you. Right. And studying all of your techniques. Oh, boy. Can I take a look at it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like you're just getting started. No, I'm finished. What is it, Sassy? Silly, it's a polar bear in a snowstorm. Yeehaw! Wait. <laughs> there, now it's finished. Oh, now I see it. <laughs> That's good, Sassy. I like it. Thank you, Bobby. It's Robbie. Whatever, Bobby. <laughs> My name's Robbie. Hey, you want to join me on a painting today? I'll help you do a painting. We're going to do a purple unicorn. Purple, purple. purple uh, I know, purple, purple, I know. Purple. Yes, purple's your favorite color. I love purple. Yes, I know that. Okay, let's get started. So I found a picture of a unicorn and printed that out. Then I taped it to the underside of my canvas in the position that I want to paint my unicorn. Then I put a flashlight under that and shine the flashlight through the drawing, through the canvas, and now I'm tracing using a uh, purple Sharpie tracing that unicorn shape. Now, let's get back to the canvas. I taped over the picture of the unicorn because I don't want to show you just yet. It's not painted, it's just the, uh, the, the outline of the unicorn. But we're going to start, we're going to go from uh, the top down and um, I'll run the spray paints right there. That's what, that's what we're going to use today. And here's the oil paints that we're going to use today. And again, I said we're going to use linseed oil as our medium to kind of mix the paints up, thin them down, uh, make, them, make them move on the canvas uh, a little better and that. So let's get started with the spray paints. I think we're going to start first up in the sky. And remember, ventilation, ventilation, windows, doors, uh, fans on. When you're using spray paint, put a mask on uh, if you want. Um, I'm going to try to do this quickly, and I've got windows and doors and, and fans on, so I think I think we're going to be okay in here. But either do this outside, or uh, you know, make sure you have good ventilation. So let's get into the spray paint part of this, and we'll uh, we'll start on the sky. Okay, 
I have a yogurt container uh, with a screw in it, a three inch drywall screw. This is gonna be our pattern for our planet. And it's gonna be somewhere up in here. And, and that'll give us the shape of, uh, I think we're gonna put a planet in, in this uh, fantasy painting. So there'll be a lot of fantasy stuff going on in the painting. We're gonna need more paint on there. Didn't really give us much of an effect. Okay. Some white. Just the cool thing about these paints is you can add more. We're gonna try something different this time. We're just gonna take this and do this. and dab it on there. I like that better. Now, very lightly, with the white, let's see. Very lightly with the black. And then we're gonna grab our pattern, our yogurt cup. We're gonna set this. Let me grab my my sky color here. I'm gonna grab this and put it right there. And we're gonna hold that. We're just gonna outline around this yogurt cup with this blue. Maybe a little white here. All right, set that aside. We're gonna give this about 15 minutes to dry. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back and our spray paints are dry. I think the planet turned out really good. Um, I like it. I like it when I step back, like it up close. I just like it. Sometimes you just like something. So I put some black gesso in a pot pie container and I put some linseed oil in another pot pie container. Remember my wife, she loves her uh, chicken pot pies. I do cook, you know, I can, I can make some fried chicken or baked chicken and pasta and sausage and barbecue and all that stuff. She doesn't eat pot pies all the time, but she does like her pot pies. So I save the containers. I have some black gesso in one of them right here. And I think we are going to uh, grab one of our fan brushes. Only gonna use about five or six brushes. Uh, I've got a couple fan brushes, a one inch brush, two inch brush, a couple liner brushes, and I think that's all we're gonna use. Um, but I wanna lay in some, some land in here, and we're gonna use black gesso to do that. And I think I'm gonna grab one of my smaller fan brushes just to kind of sketch in uh, some land in here. And we're gonna uh, come, let's see. Maybe down here. And uh, how far do we wanna go? Maybe right over to here. And then this is gonna, so it's gonna drop down this way. We're just gonna take and make some vertical, vertical lines here using black gesso. I can put this in later, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get an idea of what this is gonna look like. So this comes across, um, maybe even down here, back here somewhere. And it comes 
this down. Okay. Something like that. Got a little bit of land going there. Okay. Now we're going to think we're going to switch fan brushes to the softer one. This is one of those newer uh, copper colored, what, uh, artist brush. I guess we're artists because we're using an artist brush, but we're going to use this kind of a cool looking fan brush. It, it spreads out like this, like your fingers. So the Bob Ross fan brushes or the bristles are all together. This one here spreads out like this. So you get some, here, I'll, I'll show you. If you can see that there's gaps in between. Now, we're going to hold it vertical up and down. We want to put the indication of some distant uh, trees. And we're going to go up and down and down and up. And just at the top of this hill that we just put in, we're going to put some distant trees, the indication Maybe even some behind that. And they don't have to all be the same shape or the same height. In fact, you want, you want to, you know, move your brush up and down and over. Some of them a little taller, some shorter. Maybe we'll turn the brush now. We'll go sideways and just put some stuff there on the end. And something back here. All right. I think I like that. Something taller right there. Right there. Okay, not going to spend a whole lot of time on it. Let's come back over here and we're going to pull down, add some more black gesso to this. We're probably going to be going over this um, with midnight black as well. This, I'm just putting the black gesso on here to kind of get the the idea of what I'm doing here so I can kind of see how it's the idea is this is a cliff we're going to have some greenery at the top and then this drops off down here somewhere so and I think we're going to let that dry for a few minutes I think we're going to let that dry here just squiggling stuff up here As you can see this doesn't take any talent just we're putting shapes up there we're just we're just making shapes Now, if we wanted something that was a little more defined, we'd maybe come back and forth. Something like that. Maybe there's one back here. Just zigzagging back and forth give the indication that there's a tree back here. Okay. Maybe one right here at the edge. And again, this is black gesso. This is an acrylic paint. This will take about uh, 15 minutes to dry. And 
now we are going to let this dry and we'll come back and we're going to this painting is going to have to be done in stages bear with me i hope you guys stay to the end because it's i think it's going to be one of the coolest paintings that i've done uh so far maybe in my lifetime i don't know i've done some really cool paintings that i didn't film uh prior to starting this channel and uh you guys have seen some of them i've shown uh pictures of uh just some really cool paintings that I, I thought turned out really well. This one might be one of those, and I'm hoping it is. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes. I think while we have the black gesso, before we uh, let all this dry, um, I think we're going we're gonna to put in one more um, cliff that's over here on this side. And we're just going to come down like this and maybe there's some distant stuff on the top of this cliff and maybe it comes out like this and down Straight down here with this this cliff, and it comes down to right around there, and just adding black gesso, just getting our shapes in here. I know I want a cliff over here on this side. Stand back, see how that looks. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm leaving this a little light here so I can see where this cliff we put in, um, uh, keep it separate from this one until we start putting, we're going to put color to these and uh, it'll really start uh, looking really cool. So let's let this dry. 15, 20 minutes, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And I believe our black gesso is dry. We're gonna grab our little flat brush and come into some liquid white, which is a thin down white. We're gonna see, come up here and we're gonna put some little uh, mist and clouds in our painting. So we're just going to come up here and swirl in a little of this mist right over our trees. Hopefully our black just is dry enough to let's put some of this in here. Come around the corner. All right. I put quite a bit on here and we're gonna miss this out a little bit and spread it around. We want these trees to look misty. They're in the distance. We don't need to see a lot of detail with these trees. Okay. I think I'll take a one inch brush and just blend that a little bit. If we didn't like that, we could wipe that off with a paper towel and start over. We're going to continue with our, let's use a small fan brush and our liquid white. Dip into a little liquid white. And careful how much we put on here. So we've got this misty cloud area um, through our trees here. And we're going to say 
it comes around here. And comes across. Grab some more. Don't worry about putting too much on because we can blend this. If you get too much on there, we'll just blend it until we like what it looks like. We want this to look cloudy, misty. Right down here. And off this way. Okay, let's take a one inch brush or two inch brush. If you have a two inch brush, I'm gonna use the one inch brush. We're gonna blend some of this liquid white we just put on here for the clouds. So let's just make little circles, starting at the bottom, going across, and working our way up and creating this misty cloud area. Down a little bit. And then lightly with the one inch brush. Let's go across, smooth everything out. Okay. Take back up. All right. Let's grab our palette with our oil paints on here. Already ran the colors across the screen on our paint palette. And I think we're gonna be using a fan brush. We're gonna put some greenery on the tops of these uh, cliffs right now. So let's grab our fan brush. We're just gonna mix the paints on the paint palette here. So let's grab a little uh, sap green, bring that out here little Indian yellow and some titanium white. And we're going to make a little pile right here. And we're going to start just mixing it with the brush. And we'll see how this color looks. And let's see, let's figure out where I think we're gonna come up here like this. And maybe across here like this. Grab some more paint. I take that back. Okay. Got a different idea. I just saw. I moved you guys in closer so you could see a little bit better, but I just got an idea and I want to take off some of this green right here. So we're just gonna grab our paper towel and take off a little of this green right here. We can change our painting anytime we want. Okay. Go back into this green color. We are going to come down here and, and a little bit of greenery. Maybe down to about here and across. Now we're going to pick up right over here and come across and maybe something like that. Okay. We may change this as we go, but that gives us a general idea 
and then maybe we've got some greenery that's just sticking up. So I'm using the fan brush vertical now and just pushing upwards. Just give a little color underneath some of these trees. And let's move that back out. Still have that misty, that misty look. All right, let's add some greenery up here to the top of this. Same colors, uh, Indian yellow, sap green, a little bit of white. Let's come. Yeah, just follow it along the top edge of this cliff. We're going to say there's a little grassy patch here at the top. There we go. Okay, let's grab our liner brush real quick. Use a small liner brush. Same color. Dip in with our liner brush. We're gonna drop some of this foliage off the edge here. You know what? I'm gonna dip into a little linseed oil to thin this out. It'll make it a little easier. Kind of makes the paint, thins it out kind of like an ink. All right. We'll come up here and just put some, some grassy stuff hanging over the edge. Just come across. Dip it a little more. Okay, stand back. Looks good. I like that. Okay, we're gonna wait. We'll probably do that along this edge here on this, this cliff too, but we're gonna wait till we get some of this cliff uh, drawn in here. So we're gonna do, let's see, I think grab a little more titanium white, lighten up this color that we just had even a little more. So I'm adding titanium white. Now let's see, is that showing up? Yeah, you can see there. A little bit brighter than the green we just put on. So this is a real light green. Where's our, our light coming from? We're not really sure where the light's coming from, are we? Well, Let's say it's hidden back here. Our planet is light on this side and it's a little dark over on this side. So let's keep everything consistent and say the left side of our trees and that are gonna have a little bit of light on them. So we're just gonna touch and dab with the liner brush over some of these black trees that we put in with the black gesso leaving some of the black on the right-hand side to show. And if I'm getting in the way, I apologize. Uh, just gonna, doesn't have to be a lot, just the indication of, of some light hitting these trees. There. Okay, let's move down to these other ones. This painting is probably a little on the harder side, I would guess, in difficulty. Um, when I started this channel, I said we were gonna do some easy paintings, some medium difficulty paintings, and probably some harder paintings. This one probably falls into the harder category just because of everything we're gonna be the, uh, putting in it and using black gesso and spray paints and all that stuff, kind of, makes it a little more on the difficult side. But nothing, nothing that I'm doing here, you guys can't do. You can do this. You can do it. I 
I just hope this episode isn't three hours long. So here and there, we're going to... Oh, I got my finger in the green. Okay, here and there, we're going to put green on the left-hand side, indicating that our uh, light is coming from somewhere over here. And then we'll just uh, put some green stuff here in the background. Kind of far away, it disappears into the mist. Just put some greenery like that. And I'm using that real light color. So it almost disappears into this, you know, into the sky, which is what we want it to do. Okay, we step back. I like it. I like it. A few little things back there. Okay. All right. I think we're done with that, this area right here. Maybe add a little brightness to this little tree. And there's one right there. And there's one right there sticking up. Okay. So we still see some of the shadow side of these trees. Not covering up all the dark. You want to leave? All right, I tell you guys this all the time. Light. Light against dark, dark against light. That's where the magic happens. So we want to leave these dark areas on our trees up here. Okay, let's, let's start working on these uh, cliffs. Let's come up to this side over here and we'll, we'll test out this color. A little bit of Indian yellow and, and black. It's going to give a greenish tint. And we're just going to come down and follow this cliff all the way down this side. Okay, let's blend some of this. Just blend that down. We take our liner brush, this is the bigger liner brush, dip into a little uh, linseed oil and come into this Indian yellow without so much of the, uh, the black on it. And we're going to come over here to this edge. We're going to say this edge is kind of highlighted. Let's come into that Indian yellow, uh, midnight black mix. And we're going to come over here to this edge. We'll start over here and work our way that way. You guys having fun? I hope so. Starting to look good. <laughs> 